Hello there and welcome back to another video. We are back here inside of the beginner um, scripting tutorial over here guys. In this tutorial, I'll be talking about functions. I'll be explaining everything that you need to know about functions over here guys. They are quite simple once you guys get the hang of it and they are pretty much one of the most important things that you guys are going to use during scripting. They're used from beginner level to all the way up to the high end stuff guys. So you really need to know about functions over here guys. This is a really, really important video over here guys that you probably are going to want to watch if you guys don't know anything about functions or if you guys are a bit unaware before i start anything off though and show you guys all about functions um i first need to go in and tell you a little bit about a little bit about obialaxcodes.com which is my own roblox code website where you can find out game codes music codes and guides there is tons of stuff in there that you guys have to check out overall we give a codes for over 1000 roblox games so if you guys need a code for a game it will be there Anyway guys, I guess, let's just go ahead and go on into this video now. So pretty much guys, how exactly do you make functions? Well, first things first, we need to actually add a script. Let's add a script over here guys. So what are functions? Well, pretty much imagine functions as a block of code, which you, instead of having to write out all the time, you can just write one line and that block of code of one. So how exactly do you do this guys? Well, first of all, you need to tell the game that you're going to make making a function. To do this guys, you just need to do local function and then write the name of your function mine for example is just going to be um text or something like that guys then you're going to want to add brackets to the end and then enter so now that guys we have our function text and pretty much what we need to do over here is just well inside this bit guys you add whatever code you guys want to run when you tell this function to run so i'm just going to go in and print test over here guys i'm sorry test because my function i don't know why i've added text over here test there we go guys so yeah my function over here is just going to print text so if I just do test and then that, now guys, in my output, it should just print test over here, guys, even though I've not directly wrote test to print, as you can see up there, guys. So test has printed. But the good thing about functions is that instead of me having to write this out all again, um, I can just do this at multiple times, guys, without me having to print. Well, to be honest, this isn't really a good example, but as you can see up there, test is printed five times. But this isn't too much of a good example because of course test is just one line so you guys can really just print that out like that many times but when you guys start to have a add a bunch of stuff in here you start to really really want to use functions guys so yeah functions are so useful what guys can you do in a function well pretty much in a function you can do whatever you guys do in a normal script a function is like a, like think about a function as a bit of code in a in a briefcase and then you can open up a briefcase and use it throughout your script and um that sort of stuff guys so you yeah, think about it like that so let's just make some stuff over here make this a little bit more complex so in this function over here guys let's just do um okay so i did show you guys about properties later on but you know what? we'll just do some other stuff over here so we're gonna do number and um, so you know guys we'll, we'll do local number is equal to um one and then we can just do number is equal to number plus 10 and you can just do something like this guys and then we can just simply print the number over here right now guys and um, print number and then that's just gonna show us 11 and let's say we needed to for some reason write out this calculation in a normal game and um, multiple times guys instead of having to do this multiple times for example this we could just do test 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 to just do this three times guys if you guys get what i mean over there um but yeah th this is like the, the, the basic level as you can see it's printed out 11 three times but yeah this is like the complete basic level but um the, these got so useful so we're gonna do some other stuff over here so we are gonna actually add a part into the game this time here we go we're gonna add a part and this time guys i'm gonna add this close to spawn um i showed you guys also weights so we're gonna be using them so okay so what we are gonna do is make this function it's going to be called to red and we are going to go ahead and make this part red so to do this guys we are going to do um local part is equal to game dot workspace then we're going to do part dot color um part dot sorry yeah part dot color um sorry guys I've, I'm not even I'm not even found the pot I'm supposed to be teaching you guys how to script and I can't even do the basics okay guys so yeah we've got the pot over there so now this will work so pot.color is equal to color free dot new and we're gonna go in and set this color to a nice dot red color over here guys so now this is pretty much gonna turn our pot to red so whenever we we call this right now guys so I'm gonna do to red our pot is gonna turn red right now guys so let's run the game as you can see our pot's gray over there guys now our pot is gonna go in and turn 
red if we turn around and there we go guys our path is red maybe we want to turn this now to green um and we also want to turn it to red sometimes we are going to create a new function and instead of two red we'll make this two green and then we can just change this bit over here guys and just make this a nice sort of green color over here so now instead of two red we could also do it to um to you know we're just gonna do two green after and because two green has run after red even though it has well pretty much when this runs when it hits this line this part's gonna turn to red but because this line's um run after it's gonna finally end up as green guys however we can't maybe see this changing when we use weight so it's gonna start as green over here guys as you can see but maybe if we want to use weights in this we could do um we could see it turning from like gray to like red to green so if we do weight two then weight two and then um weight two we could just see this like flicker um from from each one right now guys so yeah, let's just do this right now guys so it's gonna do a little bit of color changing over here and um yeah so th this is like really really useful and this this is one of the main reasons why you guys are gonna want these functions as you can see over there guys that's a lot easier than us writing this out one two three four this four times guys which would literally be um eight lines of code so you guys don't really want to be doing that do you um so yeah th they pretty much make your code a lot more efficient and they make it much easier for whenever you are dealing with bugs guys because let's just say that i um i instead of making a function here i actually made this do four times whenever i wanted to change the color guys and let's say without realizing that i actually made an error in one of these i'd have to go through it four different times but if i just had an error in this one i would only have to change it change it once if you guys get what i mean over there so we will be going into functions in a lot more depth later on this is just the beginner side of functions over here guys not to overwhelm you if you didn't completely guess this guy get this um completely then i recommend maybe watching the video again so you can can kind of get your head around it and also guys i highly recommend to while watching these videos um try try along try and actually make different stuff with them make like mini projects after every video guys that's going to help you a bunch on how to learn script and that's actually how i done it too guys so i highly recommend to do that also guys if you need any help you can receive one-to-one -one help from me on my patreon account guys and you can also download every single roblox to do file which i've ever shown to youtube guys so yeah make sure you guys go ahead and join that if you guys really want to but yeah that's going to be it for this video here a lot more um a lot more advanced stuff do come guys but not overwhelming do not worry but that's gonna be it for this video right now i hope you all did enjoy this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe just some support and peace out